In today's wrap-up, the government has announced that the emergency state will not be extended. Former Minister Gagi Khachatryan will remain in detention. Armenak Urfanyan will be posthumously granted the Hero of Artsakh decoration. Defence Minister David Tonoyan has discussed the capture of an Armenian officer with the OSCE chairperson's personal representative. And Canada will provide Armenia with $260,000 for its pandemic response. During a government session on August 27th, Justice Minister Rustam Barasyan announced that the state of emergency which has been in force since mid-March will not be extended again. Barasyan added that this will not affect anti-epidemic regulations or issues regarding quarantine. Moreover, restrictions may still apply to large gatherings, the transportation of goods, sanitary measures and educational institutions. However, a key restriction will be lifted, which is that economic activity will not be banned in case of a business not following regulations. Earlier, the ban on foreign nationals was lifted, as well as the ban on demonstrations. Former Finance Minister and former Head of the State Revenue Committee, Gagi Khachatryan, will remain in detention even though his trial has begun. On August 27th, the Court of General Jurisdiction in Yerevan announced that Khachatryan will remain in detention after they rejected a motion to apply bail by his lawyers. He has been in detention since August 2019 and is facing allegations of embezzlement and abuse of power during his tenure as both Finance Minister and as Head of the State Revenue Committee between 2008 to 2014. His nephew too, Karen Khachatryan, is also on trial for his involvement. Prosecutors are accusing him of crimes which amount to a total cost of over $40 million. President of Nagorno-Karabakh, Araik Hartunyan, has requested that Captain Armenak Urfanyan be posthumously granted the highest military honor of Hero of Artsakh. Urfanyan died during the 2016 April War, which was a series of deadly clashes between Armenian and Azerbaijani forces which resulted in 91 Armenian casualties. According to Harutunyan, Urfanyan paid the ultimate price after performing very brave and heroic actions during the 2016 clashes. On top of this, renowned Armenian doctor Herar Hovakimyan has been awarded with the highest title of National Hero of Armenia by a presidential decree for his service in the health sector which saved many lives with his devoted work ethic. Armenian Defense Minister David Tonoyan has held a phone conversation with the personal representative of the OSCE chairman in office, Andrzej Kaspersik, regarding the capture of an Armenian officer by Azerbaijani forces. According to the Armenian side, Officer Gurgen Alaverdian got lost in bad weather whilst trying to check on a military outpost. Azerbaijan is accusing Alaverdian of trying to conduct an intelligence gathering operation. He is also facing charges and may face life behind bars. Tonoyan reminded that the Geneva Convention should guarantee the rights of prisoners of war. Moreover, he added that the video which was taken by Azerbaijani servicemen of Alaverdian crossing into Azerbaijani territory was a gross violation of international law. The Armenian National Committee of Canada has announced that Canada will provide $260,000 for Armenia's coronavirus response. This comes as health authorities in Armenia confirm 203 new cases of COVID-19, 262 recoveries were also recorded and three more deaths, raising the death toll to 864. The number of active cases now stands at 5,153. In other news, Health Minister Arsen Torosyan has called rumours about his resignation pure speculation and unfounded. Rumours arose after Torosyan took three weeks of holidays and deactivated his private and official Facebook pages. Torosyan added that though he will be on vacation, he will still be available and may work some days. 